fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And hello, wherever you're watching, welcome to North London. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position, and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against West Ham United. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coaches' plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins this game in goal. Musa Sissoko starts alongside Tongi Ndombele in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. He's trying to create something. And the decision is one of offside here. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Felipe Anderson plays with Danny Parejo in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Gliding through the gears. Shot attempted. And putting his body on the line. No foul. Spurs advantage. Ndombele. Here's Mares. Rice. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Rice. The ball with James Rodriguez. Declan Rice. It's opening up for them. It should be a truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much, really, the keeper can do. It was good play to get in that position. He's not going to miss from there. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. And underway again, it's West Ham in front. Arango. And if you've already received a yellow card, you surely want to stay away from that sort of challenge. Well, I must say he was dicing with danger, having already been cautioned. Just a free kick here. Oh, he's a lucky boy. Lucky, lucky boy. Could have been another yellow. A chance to whip it in. Might still be able to do a bit of damage high degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that and it was close well it's all about timing you've got to wait for the ball to come down and he's very very unlucky Rice with it Parejo poor pass under no real pressure and they are on the move again Cristiano Rango excellent vision it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Now Parejo. It's with Ryan Fredericks. And that was a very fine read. Deli Alley, and news of a goal in the match being played at Stamford Bridge. Let's get that news from Alan. It's a goal for Chelsea. 25 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. 
Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Ndombele. Here's Ndombele. Sissoko. Pijud genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. Felipe Anderson. It's got to be! Tremendous block. Over the touchline for a throw-in. It's with Parejo. Playing with purpose and control. Declan Rice. Rice? That's a very impressive piece of defending. He's enjoying space. By no means on his own here. Not a good pass. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And they'll have to throw it back in play. An attack full of promise. Parejo. Parejo! Declan Rice. Making ex... Can he take advantage? Hugo Lloris. Well, that's one he's going to want to put on his personal highlight reel. Oh, I'm a massive fan of this goalkeeper. What a fantastic save that is. Not really the ideal clearance. West Ham very much in control over the last 15 minutes, Derek. Creating lots of chances now. You think if they get another, then it's going to be really tough for the opposition. Parejo! And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Now Sizoko. Read it superbly to take back possession. Anderson. Sadly, too many things wrong about that effort. Oh, everything was wrong about it. Body shape, positioning, the idea of where he was going to put the ball. It was all going wrong. It's a poor attempt, really, for him. Well, he's doing everything in his power to help his team get over the line here. He's kicking every ball. Now Parejo, and the referee is going to add on three minutes. Felipe Anderson, and a half-baked clearance. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Time then here in the English. And the second half has started here at the home of Spurs. Rice. Rodriguez. Here's Mares. And the cross is very much on. It's with Ryan Fredericks. Issa Diop. Vitali Mikolenko. Beautiful pass. It's with Parejo. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Zamela with it. Deli Ali now. Decisive pass. Lamela. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And a throw-in forthcoming. 
Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Spurs facing Fulham. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there, both teams. Firing it in. It looked as though he was in, but credit to the defender, Lee. Yeah, he hassled him, made it three shot there. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's West Ham United facing Crystal Palace. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. And news of a goal in the match being played at Stamford Bridge. Let's get that news from Alan. It's the second goal for Chelsea. 58 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Rodriguez. That's fine play to so keep control of the ball. I no, just couldn't keep the ball. Lamela with it. Deli Ali now. Deli Ali. This looks promising. Fredericks. Lamela with it. That's a very impressive piece of defending. And dribbling with it, but out of play. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Fredericks now. It's with Mikolenko. Felipe Anderson, Declan Rice, Rodriguez, individual quality coming to the fore, surely, danger averted for now, well it's come down to the final 20 minutes here, it's with Mikolenko, it's with Ryan Fredericks, Mares and James Rodriguez in the vicinity. Over the touchline for a throw in. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Mares. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Well, it's nearly desperation stakes for Tottenham. Where's the equaliser going to come from? Continues to make hay. Others to play it to. Looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again. Well, in the second half, trailing, albeit by a small margin. How should they be viewing this task, Lee? Well, Tottenham haven't been at their best, have they? Little off colour for me in all departments, but they're still in this game. We always used to say on the pitch when we were losing, we're bound to get one more chance. Let's see if they do. What a vital intervention. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Well, the clearance, I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross and he gets up. Well, and it's just wide. Well, the clock is ticking down. The Tottenham fans know it's near the end of the game. Can the players respond? Just listen to the noise. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, in the last 15 minutes, West Ham have dominated possession. Their play warrants another goal for me, and that will be it. The game will be over. Well, I can tell you a goal has been scored at Stamford Bridge. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Chelsea. Eight minutes remain. 3-0. Cheers again, Alan. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. Now Dyer. Options around him. Sissoko. He's got to score!
Here's Manuel Lanzini. The ball with James Rodriguez. It is a decent looking attack here. Sissoko. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And here is Mauasa.